In this video, we're going to talk about ROS parameters. Before we jump into the main topic of this video, if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. I have a bunch of playlists on computer vision, software, mechanical. This one's on OpenCV, ROS2, Python, C++, Git, mechanical design, SOLIDWORKS, and here's my GitHub that goes along with it. So let's jump back into the topic of this video. So parameters are values you can change inside a node. So let's start off by running two nodes. So we're going to do ROS2 run the turtle sim and then turtle sim node. And then in our other one, we're going to run the teleop. So let me move this to the side. So we're going to say ROS2 run turtle sim and then turtle teleop key. So you can see our uh, turtle is moving. And then next up, we're going to list out our parameters using ROS2 param list. So this is the list of our parameters. And you can see the turtle sim one, we have these parameters. So we'll play around with the background a little bit. So we can actually get the parameter value. So to get that, we could do ROS2 param get, pass in the node name which is turtle sim, and then the parameter, so background, and then background G. So you can see it returns 86. We can also do something similar, but this time as you set, you pass in an extra argument, which is a value. So you ROS2 param set, pass in the uh, node name, and then the parameter background G, and we'll pass in the value of 255, and you can see the background has now changed. Okay, so you can also view all parameters for a node by using the dump function. So you could do ROS2 param dump and then pass in the node name, turtle sim, and you can see these are all the current values that are set for the backgrounds. You can also store all of these inside a YAML file. So you could do ROS2 param dump and we'll pass in the node name and then the, our file is going to be turtle sim.yaml. So all of our parameters will go inside this YAML file. And if we look inside here, we can see these are all of our parameters that we have stored. Okay, so the beauty of this is you could load in your param file. So you could do ROS2 param load and then pass in the node name and then the file, which is your turtle sim.yaml and this will load in to to whatever setting you had but since we're already blue you didn't see a change but an another thing you could do is load the param on startup so you could actually do ros2 run and you're going to pass in the package name and then the executable name which is turtle node and then all these additional arguments here so you have um, after turtle turtle sim node you're gonna see turtle turtle sim node and then dash dash ros dash args. And you're gonna do params file dash dash params dash file and then turtle sim.yaml. So this should open up a new window with the light blue background. Okay, so in our next video, we're gonna talk about actions. Go check it out if you found this video helpful. Give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.